Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision. I want to show you some copy paste options because there are like a lot of copy paste things, how you can uh, do that. And uh, there's like multiple methods. Uh, some of them do different things. So I want to, you know, show you some of those eventually. So anyways, I'm going to create a form. I'm going to go and select some black color. So that, was, that was a dark gray. I'm going to deselect the stroke. The stroke is white. I'm going to click on none. So I won't have any stroke and we're left with. Uh... So anyways, I'm going to create a shape. Let's say a rectangle. So there's like two main ways to copy paste this. I'm going to press control C and control V, of course. And it's going to create, uh, you know, a shape near the shape. Okay. It's going to be like this. So this is how it's going to copy paste it. There's like another method how you can copy paste right on it. Control C and then Control F. This way it copy pasted right on top of the shape. You can see all the options uh, and the edit. You got the copy, you got the paste, you got the paste in front, paste in back, paste in place, paste in all artboards. So these are like pretty you know, the same thing, which I just showed you. It's just going to create another shape on the shape right exactly there. And there was like another option, which is uh, the paste on all our boards. Let's say you're working with multiple, you know, uh, this is how you create more artboards. You just press here. This is the artboard. If you don't have the artboard, then go to Windows and select the artboard. Every option is basically right here if you don't have those let's say we got like four artboards and uh again i'm gonna delete these let's say i got a nice abstract form here going on and i want to put this to all artboards i'm just gonna go and go to edit based on all artboards and as you can see what the do we have like more stuff oh no okay i got it just gotta Again, I don't know what is going on. Oh yeah, because I copied the previous, which was, wasn't this effect. So I didn't copy this. The most, <laughs> it's very important to press like copy. So I gotta select it, press control C. First, always control C, and then you apply the effect based in all artboards. There you go. I forgot about that. Okay, this was uh, another one. I'm going to delete the artboards. So always you go with control C and then apply all kind of paste options because the paste options are like a lot of versions there. There's like also like, uh, you know, you got a line going on or something and you want to multiply it and you just uh, press and hold alt. This is by the way, another copy and paste option. You press and hold alt and you just created another copy. And if you press and hold Alt, you drag it and you also press Shift, it's gonna isolate it, see? And this way, I'm gonna fit just a sec because, uh, there you go. So again, press and hold Alt, drag it, press Shift, and this way it isolated. Now, I wanna create like more copies from this, so I'm gonna press Control D. And this way it creates a lot more copies. So we got control, uh, control C, control F, control D, control V. So that's like already four. So this is one of those. Um, let's say we create some other shape. I'm gonna go with, uh, let's say we created this. So I selected basically the, Ellipse tool, you can find it right here in the menu. And then I went, sorry, to the pen tool. And with the anchor point, basically I removed the anchor points handle. So it became really edgy. Okay, so let's say we're gonna make a star out of this. Uh, I'm gonna press control C, uh, control F. I'm gonna press and hold shift, rotate it once. Again, press Control C, Control F, and then Control D. Control C, Control F, and Control D again. And this is how we made a star. 
So control C, control F, rotate, and then control D. Uh, this was like another stuff. Shift plus X, I rotated. See what happened here. Anyways, uh, what else? Uh, this also can apply in a weird way. Let's say if you make some. <laughs> this is really manual what I'm going to show you because there's like other you know tools that uh, can be applied already so i'm gonna press ctrl c ctrl f rotate it ctrl c ctrl f ctrl d ctrl c ctrl f ctrl d ctrl c ctrl blah so uh, as you can see it's a lot of manual work uh this thing can be automated of course i'm gonna group them ctrl g or right click i'm gonna ungroup let me show you how to group it right click group and let's go to the usually here you can see the reflection tool this is going to be on the top and we need to select the rotate rotate tool select it and double click on the rotate tool and as you can see it starts to rotate 12 degree is good plus minus doesn't matter and press on copy and press ctrl d until it gets round and round uh yeah right now this is all i can remember related to the copy and paste here in adobe illustrator uh there's like like multiple ways to do this especially it's important to paste in front and you know i never use like Control v i always use Control f to paste it in front because i basically never use it that way to you know paste it near the object so uh, yeah interesting stuff uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get not notified with daily updates. And check out the other videos as well. Have a good day. Bye-bye.